welcome to another video this video is going to be a very interesting session an interesting topic i can i, I can get you know i have received so many requests from candidates and from employees who, who are consultants already in different companies and they are trying to explain something to the interviewer for business scenarios but they are not able to explain this video is focused for explaining about five practical business scenarios where you can use plugins right so that you can explain these business scenarios to your interviewers when you are applying for something dynamics 365 crm uh, jobs right so this session is dedicated for those who are trying to in, uh, apply uh, for interviews and uh, unfortunately or fortunately they get a question that can you explain some business scenarios that you have worked on uh, and you have used plugins right now let us start the first business scenario is restrict the change of payment term from higher to lower in payment entity right for example let's say you want to restrict users you have two tables one one table is payment another table is payment uh, sorry this is the same table only one table and that table contains a term as a column as a field and that field contains six inch installments as a choice and two installment as a choice now you want to when the user wants to change the six installment to two installment that means it is the term is changing from higher installment to lower installment then you want to restrict users throwing some exception that you cannot change higher term to lower term so this is a practical business scenario that how to restrict the change of payment term from higher to lower in payment entity now for this you have to use synchronous plugin and you have to use plugin images because when you are doing some operation in form level you need to because you have to match this two value before uh, value of this term field and after uh, update the recent value of this term field right so you need to use plugin images to find out uh, what is the old value and what is the new value of the term without plugin images you, there is no other way to find to match the previous value of a field then whenever the and you have to register a plugin in pre operation before it is updated to two installments from six installment then you have to use update permission sorry update uh, message on the update of this storm field you have to trigger a plugin which is synchronously executed or registered and uh, use the plugin image in your plugin code to fetch the pre image value of term and post image value of term then match if the pre image term field is more than post image term value then throw invalid plug plugin execution message right that's that's how you can restrict users from changing to higher term to lower term and in this is in this plugin you have to use plugin images there is no other option here because in the plugin context it is always it always contains the updated value the previous value doesn't contain that's why you have to use pre images for this scenario so this kind of scenario you have to use plugins there is no other way right you cannot use power automate you cannot use other scripts like that because you have to have the pre image value of the star when someone is changing from uh, existing value to new value right this is a very very uh, better scenario so that you can explain your interviewer number 2 calculate the roll up field total amount paid immediately when a payment line is paid for example let's say we have two tables one is payment another is payment line and when someone create a payment payment table a payment record with term two installments and amount for for $400 initially the total paid is zero and when the payment line there is one is to one relationship between payment and payment line 
and for the total amount 400 it is creating two installments installment 1 and installment 2 and it is divided by two 200 dollar each line and uh, initially both remains unpaid that's why this total paid amount in payment remains zero now once someone paid this installment this becomes uh, updated as 200 paid next time when the uh, second installment is paid the total amount should total amount paid should be updated with summing of this two right so for this normally in dynamics 365 or dataverse we use roll of fields so we can take a roll of field as total paid amount on the parent entity and as soon as a new uh, as, as soon as the child record is updated i can sum this uh, sum the amount of this uh, uh, line item uh, paid and give to the total paid that means the total paid uh, roll up field will be updated as soon as the uh, line amount payment line amount is paid but unfortunately the uh, roll up fields in parent uh, entity parent record are not updated immediately it updated every 12 hours so you cannot wait right so to update this roll up field immediately you have to write down some plugin which will run against the status change of this payment line and it will recalculate the roll of field so that it will immediately update the value right we have to write down something some plugin in synchronous mode and we have to register in pre-operation of this um, value update then we can on the create we can also so in the create of or in the update of the status we can update this total paid value right so this is another business scenario that uh, is required for calculating roll of fields. Next, do not allow to create new payment records if there are some unpaid payment records already exist for the customer. Let's say there is a payment amount, payment record is available here and there are some payment lines which are unpaid, right? Now, if someone is trying to create another payment uh, record, uh, the uh, requirement is the system should throw an error that there is some unpaid payment lines are exist for a payment for this customer and you cannot create new payments so for this scenario you can use a plugin which will be registered in a synchronous and pre-operation of payment record creation then it will it will fetch all the pay unpaid payment lines of, of uh, the existing payments of the customer and if it found some unpaid payments, it will throw error, right? So this is required for uh, required to create a plugin. This is another scenario, right? The fourth scenario is if you want to download code PDF, you know that in the quotation level we have a PDF uh, quotation PDF functionality already there, so that you can preview the quotation and uh, you can share it with others, right? If I will go here. This is my quotation and here you can click on export to PDF and when you click on export PDF it will uh, render your PDF file on the fly here then you can download here right but let's say there is some requirement that the file name should be dynamic right by default it is not dynamic you want to make it dynamic with your uh, you know um, quotation number here then this will not be sufficient so what you have to do you have to write we have to place a button here in the command button and you have to uh, once you click that button uh, you can update a dummy field on the code and once it is updated you can uh, trigger a uh, plugin which will uh, and which will fetch the quotation uh, template uh, from the system and it will update uh, and 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 it will try to download as soon as the button is clicked right now to do this there is no other way you have to write down a plugin so you can create a button download PDF quotation then in the button click you have to update a dummy field and on the change of that dummy field you have to call a synchronous plugin which will fetch the quotation PDF template and it will download or it will attach as a attach, it will attach as a note in your details area of the quotation so for this scenario also you can use plugins
and the last scenario for this session is let's say while quotation is added in the system to an opportunity auto populate some fields value on quotation which will be used in generating code pdf in quotation we generate pdfs by clicking code preview or uh, a button custom button as per your choice right but if you want to auto populate some fields on the quotation let's say this is your quotation and in the quotation i have some fields and whenever you add a new quotation from opportunity or you create a fresh quotation on the quotation area you want to auto populate some fields as per your choice right then let's say because quotations contain a lot of thing like your company address your some static value and to pull that static value you can put uh, you can uh, create a plugin which will run in the pre operation of the quotation create uh, method or meshes then it will assign all those fields with the values that the uh, quote pdf requires right so this requires a plugin to do this otherwise there is no other option okay if you if you uh, use form script or javascript to do this it will not work until unless you work on you create a quotation on the form level but if any application creating a quotation creates a quotation then uh, your form script will not work right so this this five scenario is very important and you can explain to your interviewer as per your choice if if because this is very very generic question that they can ask please explain some business scenarios that you have worked in plugins you can understand this and you can modify your answer if you think that interviewer will uh, understand that the same scenario we have told just modify something and uh, tell your interviewer okay or if you have worked on in any scenario you can explain that but this session is for those who don't understand who don't identify what can be a business scenario where i can use plugins so thank you for your time i hope this five scenario will help you to understand where we use plugins in dynamics 365 and if you want a live training and anything any help you can connect me in my whatsapp number 8328865778 number and if you want also training you can let me know thank you guys and if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel and uh, so that it will be helpful in many ways thank you see you